Hello survivors and welcome to my fishing tutorial. In this video I will cover crafting, fishing, and cooking, all in the experimental 0.45 patch. I just want to warn everyone that everything in this patch is subject to change and I will give you the best advice I can regarding in everything regarding this patch. First I want to start off with the tools that you will need for fishing. For, to for fishing tools you will require an ashwood stick, a farming hoe, rope, and a fishing hook, and worms. To acquire worms you need a shovel or a farming hoe. To obtain these worms simply put, put the farming hoe or shovel in your hand. You have to walk out into an open field and, and stare at the ground in first person. And an option should dig up where it should come up. I want to warn you that if you are inside the forest, you will gain a different option and you won't be able to dig up worms. If you're in the forest, and you stare at the ground, you should be able, there will be a part where it's going to make you want to do search for kindling. Yeah, there we go. But if you stand out in the open, and not underneath a tree, you should have the option to dig worms. Or not. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna go out in the open. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Out in the open, worms. Same option should happen when you pull up your shovel. Once you start digging for worms, on the bottom left, it will appear an icon whether you obtain some or not. Every time you dig, you get, you have the chance to gain up to four worms per stack. With these worms, you will place it on the bait, and you're ready to f start fishing. To craft a fishing rod, Drag the rope onto the ashwood stick and select, and be very careful, select the fishing, ro the fishing rod option. And there you go. Now, you cannot apply the fishing hook to the fishing rod until you actually apply the bait. Once you craft the fishing bait, here you go, you can then apply it to the rod. Put my old fishing rod on the ground here. Here we go. Now you can apply, just mouse over and apply to the fishing rod, and you're ready to fish. When fishing, try to get into a little deeper water. I have not noticed that you could do it in third person, so, but. And any pond that you can actually fish at is the same pond that you can drink water at. If you're trying to fish at the south or eastern coast of Chernaris, I have not gotten the option to fish yet, so the only places you can actually fish are at these types of ponds. To start fishing, go into first person view, and the option to start fishing will appear once your entire rod is ready. Simply select start fishing, and you're going. Now, at this stage, it is a game of patience. When you're in first person, select check the bait, and it will tell you on the bottom left the status regarding whether a fish is getting close to your bait or not. This process of fishing is completely random. Sometimes you may be lucky and catch like like four fish, two fish. Sometimes it may take you 30 minutes and it might and you might actually only catch one fish. And right now I'm trying my luck. Still got no movement near the bait. Fire's cooking. I got gas and a pot ready once I catch some fish. Just 
still trying my luck. Also, um, regards. If the hardest things to probably to find is probably the Ashwood stick and the fishing hook. The best places I would suggest looking for these two items is to chop down an Ashwood tree and to find a fishing hook. Well, you could find the Ashwood. The finding that you should find the places that you can find the Ashwood stick without chopping down a tree would be at any industrial building or shacks that have a high chance to spawn these items. I would definitely consider at this point the uh, fishing hook to be rare. So, if you see someone with a fishing hook, <laughs> try your best to steal. Some movement. When you're checking the bait, try to do like maybe 5 or 15 second intervals. After a while, you, if you don't check the bait, it, it just seems to re the whole system starts to reset. Oh, I might have a fish biting my bait here soon in a minute. Oh, just stole my bait. <laughs> yeah, that can happen. Thankfully, it won't steal a hook, but just apply another worm and keep fishing. As for cooking. At the moment in the experimental build, the majority food is burned, so there's a small chance that you might actually get a, a perfectly cooked fillet fish. But it's all experimental. It's good so far. mention. If you're planning to do fishing, and you want to do it this old lone wolf style, you definitely need a mountain backpack. There is no possible way that you can keep, well, be armed slightly, have some basic necessities, and to be fully kitted out for fishing. You need the fire axe, the chop wood, unless you're going to just go with the, the portable pot, which is probably, probably more effective, in all honesty. The fire axe is good to have around. The fishing rod takes a ton of space. You could choose between the farming hoe or the shovel. Neither of them currently loses condition when you utilize them. As for what type of knife you want to use when you're actually gutting fish, yes. Yeah, this does actually take to account. Just like just like opening a can with a hacksaw or using a can opener. The can opener preserves the most, the most food when you open. Same thing with, with the chef's knife. The chef's knife actually will keep most of the food intact. Well, you might have another chance at it. When you're fishing, you must stay. Per you must stand still. You must be very careful not to move, or you will have to be able to reset the whole instance or scenario. Ah, there we go. We got the fish. Now that we got the fish, let's get to cooking. Now, when I was talking regarding when you use a chef's knife or a machete knife. Here's what happens when you utilize a machete to prepare the fish. You get 56 
and 53%. Now let's see what happens when we use a kitchen knife. 80% to 81%. So essentially you are sa- yeah. Always grab a chef's knife, you will save more food in the long run. This might- I mean, what I'm also pretty curious about is... The, sh the kitchen knife might actually be better to gut animals because... I've utilized the chef's knife before on cows, and the only thing left out of those, like... The steaks that I got from them was about 4% or 5%. So, keeping a chef's knife around might actually prove to be worthwhile. Now, I'll apply the, uh, the fish fillets into the cooking pot. Oh, these are my old fish fillets. Didn't quite make it. Probably because of the experiment patch. I'm gonna split in half. I'll try once. I'll try one of them. Oh boy, I should I should have known that. Yeah. You'll get sick for eating burned meat. Oh well, for testing purposes. I'll probably speed up this part of the video just for the cooking to finish because the cooking does it does take a while for the for the food to actually cook. Probably about ten minutes at most I'd say. But of course it's just it's it's experimental, so and what I've noticed when the food the food immediately turns going from raw to burned. I'll see whether or not uh if there's actually like a perfect moment where you actually have to pull it out at like an exact moment. something. Oh my god. Oh wow. Wow. I just caught a wellies. <laughs> what? Oh that's... I'm so wearing that. <laughs> oh wow. Wow. 